Hi, this is Azim. And this is Medina. And we are full time tutors. So, the reason why we're making this video is because we have a lot of parents who hand over their children to us to help them with their literacy and numeracy, um, and they find it personally difficult to assist their children at home, and they have no idea how to do it, so they need our help. But what we've realized is that you can do it at home. Um, so, there are a lot of uh, resources out there that you can get. And yeah. And you don't have to be a qualified teacher, teacher in order to help your children. Yeah, for as long as you know how to manipulate these resources and really utilize them, um, you'll be able to teach your children. We use these resources every single day inside our center. I was a form teacher. And as teachers, you have a lot of resources that are given to you by the school. Um, or you're given by another teacher, um, or you just make resources yourself. But these are not accessible to the parents. Yeah. So what we hear is that we are going to try to help the parents to access these very accessible um, resources that you can get it um, yeah. from online or from any departmental store like yeah. Kmart or. And and LB. to be honest, they are out there and you kind of go through the shelves and you ignore them. Why? Because you don't know what they are. And mm -hmm. if you do know what they are, oh yeah, this is for learning. But mm -hmm. how do I use? Over the years, we have accumulated a lot of resources and activities uh, for our students. And some of these activities weren't as useful or weren't really worth it. Mm -hmm. And we wish we actually knew, so we don't purchase them. We made up a criteria to help us purchase the best games out there or learning activities. And we're going to share this with you guys um, so you don't make the same mistakes as us and you buy the best of the best. So basically the five main criteria that we use before we buy any uh, educational um, toys or games or products will be the price, mm -hmm. uh, then the presentation, um, and then the purposefulness, durability, and the last one is user-friendly. So based on these five uh, main criteria that we're gonna, that we already shared with you, um, we tick these boxes to see whether um, whether a, a educational game or product or toy is worth it to buy or not. Attention, this game complies with the following section in Australian curriculum. <laughs> the first game we're going to review is called Alphabet Bingo, and we purchased this um, from Kmart, and the reason for that is it's uh, very affordable, it's accessible, and who doesn't love Kmart, by the way? Everyone loves Kmart. Um, so this game, the purpose of it is to help your children recognize uppercase and lowercase letters and also um, help with picture recognition. Um, so the game says it assists in three areas. One is memory. Second one is hand-eye coordination, and number three is memory skills. Um, does it fulfill all three? That's something that we need to yeah, check. Yeah, we need to check. So basically, this game is um, suitable for um, ages four to eight years old. Um, so, but then again, we use this in our tuition center, um, all the students. Um, just to break the ice, it's a really good game to break the ice. The good thing about this game is that it explains um, very explicitly how to play it, which doesn't, it's not always the case with all games. They don't actually come with a paper explaining everything to you. A good part, a good thing about this game is that it tells you how to make it more challenging. Not many parents know how to make it challenging yeah. for their kids. Uh, the game gets too easy and then just gets too boring. Ages um, four to eight, you want it to be more purposeful. So how do yeah. you keep the kids on the purpose itself, which is learning how to learn letters and not just win the game? Um, so <laughs> 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 that's okay. Um, this game basically tells us that it assists with memory skills. How does that actually happen? It doesn't really tell you. It's when they get the token, they see the picture of the astronaut. 
then they have to look at their board and see where the astronaut is. Was the astronaut on top? Was the, was the astronaut on the bottom of the chart? Where was it? So this assists with them. Hand-eye coordination. How does hand-eye coordination actually occur? Hand-eye coordination means that with their eye they see the token and with their hand they go and grab it. You think all kids can do this? Not all kids can actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is um, the reason why we're laughing is when we open this game. Mm. At first we were like, <laughs> how do they do problem solving? Yeah. But we don't actually understand why is it problem? Why is it problem solving? Because as an adult, mm. it's not a problem to see the letter A and match it up on the board. Mm. It's not a problem at all. But for kids at the age of four to eight, that is a huge problem. They mm. see. Oh my God, where is this letter? That's a problem, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's their problem solving yeah. skills. But then again, it's not really it's problem not, solving. Yeah, so it's it, luck. So that's why we yeah. say that for this section, problem solving, mm -hmm. it's not fully achieved, it's not okay? Really. It's touched on mildly. Yeah, mildly. Not even mildly, <laughs> just... Yeah, very mildly. <laughs> very mildly. Yeah. So basically, the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the price. Well, since it is from Kmart, um, it's about eight dollars, uh, which, to be honest, it's quite affordable. It's uh, for the box that you, it's gonna come with. It's really nice. There's a lot of things inside. There's tokens, and it's like really nicely organized, um, elite packed, and uh, it comes with a manual and everything. I, I feel like, to be honest, um, it's very affordable. $8 yeah, it's real, is really yeah. Good. yeah. So if we basically calculated how much a to that amount of tokens would actually cost. Mm -hmm. the, the tokens comes with the bag, how much does that normally cost? Yeah. It added up more than $8, yeah. you know, so yeah. for that and game... It, yeah, and you can so really it, utilize the game, by the way. Yeah, you so... Know, it can really occupy at least 15 minutes. Yeah, and, and the game play. is yeah. not uh, two players only. It's up two to, to six, six players. Yeah, two to six players. Yeah, um, and the other thing is the tokens, you can actually use it for literacy games, other literacy games, or even numeracy games. Yeah. As teachers, um, the biggest advice we can give parents is make sure that your children actually pack the box yeah. nicely so the game can last longer yeah. and also they're learning how to be responsible. Judging from all the criterion, we give this game a solid 8.7 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it actually useful. You can find our video on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. Yes. If you are on YouTube, please subscribe and like and share, share and do all the other things that you can <laughs> do to support us and support other parents. Bye-bye.